Good morning everyone, this is Emmanuel, the Aviation Guy, and bringing you another tutorial. Today I am going to make a tutorial on how to make a quick startup on this aircraft, which is J-Royon, this amazing CRJ200 for X-Plane 10. So we're here in the Air Canada Jazz livery. I am in Montreal International Airport, in the Air Bridge, and we may start. Okay, so let's jump into the cockpit. So, first thing is to check that all hydraulic pumps are off, landing gear is down, spoilers are up, are retracted, the flaps are up, the radar is off, and that the ADG manual release is in and stowed. Next, we can go into the overhead panel, go to the battery, click and drag. And get some master caution wall arms, then cancel them. And the way we can get some more power for the rest of the screens, we could punch a uh, ground power unit, or we could start the APU. For this video, I'm going to start the APU because I want to make it quick. So, go into the overhead, you click on the APU, you put the power fuel on, wait for the door to open. And now the door is open, so we can start it. So the APU is starting. In the meantime, we put the generator on. Wait for it to start. Okay, so the APU is on, and we now have all the screens. But as you can see, they're not aligned. We go down uh, on the pedestal, and you put the both IRSs to nav. And you can also engage the yaw dampers start aligning the IRSs. So the way you do it is you go into the FMS, the MTDU, you go to FMS1 active, position in it, and you type in the APO code of the airport you are presently at. So for me it's Montreal, so Charlie Yankee Uniform Lima. Put it here. And you get a coordinates. You copy them by clicking this button and you paste them on the set position. And now here we have IRS and aligning procedure and we cannot tag C. So now we're going to proceed to boarding, so I'm going to open the door, just go past the cockpit and take this red uh, lever and just put it up and the passengers can start boarding. For flight planning I have an application for ZeroJ which is called iGo Dispatch that someone made for x -Plane, and it's amazing. It calculates the fuel you need for your trip and it gives you some, you can choose how many passengers, it gives you a gross rate, it gives you zero fuel weight, fuel weight and everything. So I've calculated everything. So you, for now you just go to aircraft and then tab for splitting fuel. And it gave me 5,000 uh, pounds of, uh, of cargo and passengers. and. 6,000 pounds for fuel for my trip to Quebec. Okay, so now the plane is loaded. Next thing to do is to go to performance, thrust limit, and to get the outside air temperature from the METAR or ADIS, or ADIS if there is one available. So I know for now in Montreal today, temperature is 30. 30 degrees, so put it in, in the outside air temperature. And you have some trust limits. Take off, climb, cruise. So obviously we're gonna take off soon, so 19 89.5 is a limit and one limit for takeoff. It's on blue. And when you advance the throttle on takeoff, it will not uh, overspeed that 89.5 and one limit. Okay, so now we have uh, IRS is aligned. And with also the plugin I go dispatch gave me some speed for my current uh, weight. So the way you do it, you just go on this panel, you click like this, and you get V1. So my V1 speed is 138. V rotate 140 and V2 148. This is a configuration for flaps uh, 8. 
Okay, let me set the altimeter here in Montreal. 2963. Perfect. And for now, I think that's it. So, passengers are boarded. We can now close the door. We can go to the same position and pull the red lever. Now, door is closed. Go we'll back into the flight deck. Okay, so we're gonna set the light. Now we're gonna set the seatbelt sign on. Emergency lights to arm. We're gonna put the beacon light on to tell the other aircraft that we're gonna leave very soon. Hydraulic 3A can come as well. So next we're gonna put the APU bleed on. Master caution. We can put the fuel pumps, boost pumps. All can go on and we can push back and start. So I'm gonna push back and have easy pushback plugin. I'm gonna push back and after that I'm gonna start the engine and then I cut the video. Okay, push back I'm back. Push back has been completed. Something we forgot to do as well is to set the pressurization for landing elevation. And do it now. So you just punch in this second E face and you go here, you have landing elevation. Go all the way up to the overhead and to cabin pressure. And you can change it by just scrolling. We know the elevation at Quebec is around 240 feet, so wait um, there it is. There it is. So we have set. And also set a stabilizer trim. I have it from flat, from that same application I got this patch. And it is 7.5. Okay, set. So now we're gonna start the engine. So you go to the overhead panel. You can choose any, uh, you can arm any uh, ignition, A or B. For this video, I'm gonna choose A. And you start the right engine. Here is the start, and uh, ATT is rising, and uh, when it gets to now, about 18, you put in the fuel in, you put the fuel in, get some beeping sounds, and the engine is starting. Okay, so, the engine is starting, we can start the left engine, so, same process, start, wait for about 17 to 18 ITT, which is now, and you can put in the fuel. Great, master caution as well. Right now we can turn generator to one, and one as well because the engine is stabilized. We can pressure the hydraulic pumps. Okay, and we can turn off the APU bleed, disarm the ignition, turn off the APU. We can also shut the pumps off and put some lighting, so taxi light and nose light. Okay, and that's it. You have correctly started, uh, correctly started the engines, the CRJ, and now the only thing left to do is taxi and take off bound for Quebec. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and if you have any suggestions, please feel free to contact me. I hope it was useful, and until next time, bye.